Well, there is some developing news in the NRL this morning regarding the future of Ben Hunt after he requested an immediate release from the Dragons. And Danny Widler broke the story yesterday on this and he joins us live now. Uh, Danny, what's the latest with this situation as it stands at the moment? Well, Danny, none of it's really uh, good for Dragons fans. Um, as far as I'm concerned, um, the information I'm getting is that Ben Hunt would be happy if he has played his last game for the St George Illawarra Dragons. And that's massive, uh, given he's the captain of the club. Uh, he's fed up with what's going on at that uh, at his club that he's been at for the last half a dozen or so years, and he wants out of the club. And if he gets his way, Danica, he would like to leave the club now. It is quite a remarkable situation, of course, all unfolding as he is in uh, Queensland camp at the moment. Are there any, are there any front runners at the moment uh, where he would be considered to be joining soon? Well, Danica, all of this has taken uh, the Dragons by some surprise. They thought that the appointment of Shane Flanagan as their new coach or incoming coach might have uh, changed Ben Hunt's mind, given that he was uh, naturally unhappy that his close friend uh, and mentor, Anthony Griffin, was moved on from the Dragons and they figured that the Flanagan factor may have been able to play a part in keeping him. And Shane Flanagan is still uh, obviously quite keen to keep Ben Hunt at the club and would like to speak to him. Uh, in terms of clubs in the future for Ben Hunt, well, look, in the background uh, for some time now has been the Bulldogs. Uh, but I think if, if you're really looking for a favourite, and I'm not saying this is a lock, uh, but I think the, the Gold Coast Titans would be the favourites for Ben Hunt's signature uh, as we speak right now. But... Once uh, this starts to play out a bit, and if he does manage to get a release, uh, I'd imagine Queensland clubs would be interested, as would the Bulldogs and a number of other Sydney clubs as well, Danica. All right. Thank you, Danny. And uh, you'll have all the latest in uh, Nine News tonight at 6pm as well. Get on this situation, what did you make of it when this news came through yesterday? Oh, look, it's probably surprised me like everyone else. But, um, you yeah, know, I think Ben Hunt's probably basing all his decisions at the moment on what's happened in the club in the past. He said he's fed up with what's happened at the club in years gone by. And that's, you know, they, they, haven't, been, they haven't gone well, right? But he's been paid a hell of a lot of money to be at that club and has never taken him to a semi-final series. Now, that's not his fault. That's a club game. It's a, it's a, it's a team sport. But he also hasn't attracted a lot, of, a lot of talent there either. So... It does surprise me. Uh, he's basing, as I said, basing everything on what's happened in the past. He's got to start basing or thinking about what's going to happen in the future. Shane Flanagan is known for, to be able to put a roster together. He put, he put a, a team that won the wooden spoon two years later when won the premiership. So he's known for being able to put a roster together. Now, I think he's got to consider that, at least meet with Shane Flanagan, talk to Shane Flanagan about what's going to happen or what he sees the future with the club. Um, I, I think to be making the decision on what's happened in the past now before Shane Flanagan's even been there, I think is a bit rushed and a bit hasty. And if I was the Dragons, I wouldn't be letting him go. Can Flano talk him around, though, Gail, do you think? Uh, well, at the end of the day, he's got a contract. Yeah. He's got a contract there. And unless, unless the Dragons club can improve their club by getting a player of just as good a talent there, I wouldn't be letting him go. Yeah. And, look, the Dragons in the past have stood players out when they've tried to leave. Well, Joey, if, if he goes... Mm. Uh, Who's the next halfback they can they can there's chase? None there's, none, the there's none on the market at all, is there? I think you'd have to go to the UK. There's um, Luke Brooks. There's talk about uh, he wants to go and test the open market, but uh, a club like St George Illawarra, their fans can be quite vocal. You know, yeah. it's going. Think, from... think, think about Ben Hunter. Ben Hunt's done everything in the game, and he is a terrific player. I'm not trying to take anything away from his ability because he's a brilliant player. He's, he's an Origin player. He's an Australian player. But you think he wants to win a premiership, do you not? That if he wants to leave yeah. the Dragons, he probably sees the Dragons at the moment as not having a roster that's going to win a premiership in the next year or two. So you think about where could he go to win a premiership? Well, the the, the, the teams that Danny just mentioned, the Dogs, you wouldn't yeah. think they're going to win one in the next two or three years. He's, yeah. he's 34 next year. Yeah. He's probably only got two or three years left. The Titans. The Titans are the other one. Are they going to win the cup in the next two or three years? Probably not. So probably you, not. You, no. No, well, there you go, no. Yeah. But then, then you talk about Queensland teams, OK? Brisbane, they've got uh, Reynolds there who's probably younger than him, so they're not going to get him. The only other one's the Cowboys. Now, there's rumours lately they want Chad Townsend gone, so that could be a possibility. And the Cowboys are a chance to win the Premiership, but... No, the, the, cow, the Cowboys haven't been mentioned about taking him. Yeah. Mm. And we will um, talk more on this situation. You have to feel for Shane Flanagan as well. He's got to finish the year working with the Manly Seagulls and he's got this situation mm. bubbling as well. He'll be right.